Hello, this is Alex Zhang uh, from 9D Block, and this is the biology genetic project, and the disease name is the Huntington's disease. So, what is the Huntington's disease? It is basically a disease that causes the brain to degener degenerate, causing uncontrolled movements, loss of thinking, and etc. It usually shows the symptoms to one to one around the 30s and the 40s. Also, it is a familial disease, which means that it is family related and that it is genetically inherited. And you can see a picture of the top brain being a person with the Huntington's disease and the bottom brain being a person with the normal brain. And you can clearly see the difference of brain degeneration. So that's the basics of the, that's the basic idea of Huntington's disease. So let's get deeper. What is happening at the genetic level? Well, according to research, the Huntington's disease has to do with the fourth chromosome getting mutated. In the fourth chromosome, the DNA is based on three bases. They are C, A, and G, which are cytosine, adenine, and guanine. These three take cycles, and these cycles repeat. However, one with Huntington's disease will abnormally repeat this way above the normal amount of repeats from a normal person. So, there are a total <coughs> of uh, 46 chromosomes per person, which equals 23 pairs. The first 22 pairs are autosomal chromosomes, and the last pair is the sex chromosome. A disease like this takes place when a chromosome from any one of these gets mutated, in this case being the fourth chromosome. Relating to the two types of chromosomes, the Huntington's disease is an autosomal dominant chromosome, which what this means is that it can affect both sexes and that one, only one parent is needed to pass the disease onto the next generation. And you can see a picture of the fourth chromosome right there. So what kind of symptoms appear when you have Huntington's disease? It is known that the faster the symptoms are shown, the faster the Huntington's disease is progressing. Some early symptoms can include character changes, depression, and anger. However, as time progresses, the symptoms get worse. Some mental symptoms can include hallucinations, irritability, restlessness, loss of just judgment, loss of memory, and a lot of stress. All these combined will be terrified. But that's not all. There are some physical symptoms too. These include the head turning to shift eyesight instead of the eyes, unusual face movement, uncontrolled and slow movements, sudden jerks, and speech impairment. It basically rips you apart from society. Children with Huntington's disease can show slow movements, trembling, and rigidity. Let's take a look at history. Huntington's disease was first discovered in 1872 by a man named George Huntington. He wrote a paper called On Korea. It was later published in the Medical and Surgical Reporter of Philadelphia and later became known as the Huntington's Korea. In 1993, the gene of the Huntington's disease was found after a long research and they are now trying to find a cure for this disease. And you can see a picture of the of George Huntington right there. So how common is this Huntington's disease? Well, there is an estimate that in Europe, 3 to 7 out of 100,000 people are found to have the Huntington's disease. In the United States, it is said that one person in every 10,000 people are found to have this disease. Approximately, approximately 30,000 people have the Huntington's disease in the USA. Another 150,000 people are at risk of getting this disease because they are the family and future generation of those with the Huntington's disease. It is also known that Huntington's disease is less common throughout Asians and Africans. Now, how is the Huntington's disease passed on to the future generations? As I said before, the Huntington's disease is a genetically passed on disease. It is also an autosomal dominant disease. Again, it means that it can affect both sexes and only one <coughs> parent is needed to transfer the disease. As a result, there is a 50-50 chance that the children may, may have Huntington's disease. The mutated gene may affect the child's DNA or may not affect it at all. However, there are some cases where this disease is sporadic, meaning that it has been caused not by family matters, but the gene got mutated somehow causing Huntington's disease. Next, what is life with Huntington's disease? Life with Huntington's disease is just miserable. If you look at all the symptoms, you can just imagine the suffering. To add on to that, you would have to worry and feel sorry for your child. You would worry if your child would go through what you have gone through in, your, in their lives. You would also feel disgusted at the current situation. You would not be really happy. There is no cure. Not a lot of people are working to even fix this disease. As a result, the patient themselves try to pass bills that relate to curing the Huntington's disease. So, how does the Huntington's disease affect the individual? 
it is said that the most people with Huntington's disease come <coughs> comes to an end in their life 15 to 20 years after clinical diagnosis. As a result, the lifespan differs for each person. The disease can be diagnosed early or even too late. The causes of death are usually infections. However, there are also cases of suicide from the patients with Huntington's disease. Most importantly, what kind of treatments are there for this disease? In August 2008, the US FDA or Food and Drugs Administration approved a drug called tetrabenazine to treat Huntington's disease, which became the first drug ever approved by the FDA to treat the Huntington's disease. There are also antipsychotic drugs, which help reduce the involuntary movements along with hallucinations and violent movements to alleviate people with the Huntington's disease. However, these antipsychotic drugs have severe side effects such as sedation. As a result, this is not used widely. Tranquilizers are also used to help mood swings and changes in characteristics. Most of the drugs used to treat Huntington's disease have side effects, including tiredness and fatigue. And, and that is a picture of uh, the tetras <coughs> tetrabenazine, which, are, which, is, which was the first drug used to treat the disease. And these are the sources for the websites. And these are the sources for the pictures.